FTQ360 has a timesheet template that you can use to track work hours. This template provides a customizable table for data entry and a dynamic button to add new lines. Once a line is added, you enter the date, the ID number, the name, hours worked, and any relevant activities or notes. This grid, as well as the entire template, can be customized. To add another line, just click the dynamic button, which allows you to start the timesheet on one day, such as Monday, and then continue adding lines on the following days, such as Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. When completed, you can sign the timesheet by clicking the camera icon and selecting Signature. This will allow you to sign and then add your signature to the form. Finally, click FTQ to show that this timesheet is complete and accurate and ready to be processed. The printed PDF will clearly show this timesheet is complete along with the filled out grid and the required approval. You can email this timesheet directly from the entry screen by clicking the email button and sending it to the payroll or HR department. Or schedule a favorite report that collects all of the timesheets to go out automatically to a specific email address on a daily or weekly basis. In addition to using the timesheet to track your work hours, clients also use it to keep track of contractor or subcontractor activity for a specific job or time period. Plus, to make things easier, FTQ360 allows you to carry information over from one week to the next. Uh, this saves on data entry time. So we will copy the current report, and then the copy loads on the screen, and we've selected which checkpoints get copied over and which ones don't. So we'll carry over the name and ID number, but not the dates and the number of hours, for example. So this saves a lot of time in setting up the following week for a timesheet. So now we'll take a closer look at setting up the timesheet template in checklist setup process so that we can identify what should be copied and what should reset to a blank field. If you recall, we wanted to re-enter the date. So this is not one of the fields we want to copy over. So when I select this checkpoint, I want to click Options and find the copy mode. This section should be set to nothing, reset to original state. Now when I copy the current week's checklist into a new one for next week, this field won't copy over and I can enter fresh data. The system also allows you to copy a line in a matrix so you don't have to retype repeated data. To do that, you'll need to turn on the matrix copy feature and set up customization preferences. Then a copy icon will appear at the beginning of each row, allowing you to copy it to the last row. This is how you can use some of the features in FTQ360 to set up your timesheet and make it very easy to use.